Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra. Today I have for you a very long overdue update for the Nightmare Before Christmas Project Pan. It is in collab with the Fantastic Ladies over on Facebook. I just looked at my last update to see um, the, the changes and the differences that you know, I need to update on and I realized I filmed this like two months ago. <laughs> um, so I haven't had an update in two months and I kind of did that intentionally because we we're getting, um, I, I kind of wanted to update on Halloween because I thought that would be very appropriate. <laughs> um, but time just got away from me and I am just, I'm back in it now. Um, so I do have a couple of products left. I have, let's see. I have five. I have five left and I am confident that I'll be able to finish them up slash hit my goal. So I'm really, really excited. Um, there's a lot of change. <laughs> so from the last update, which was in about late September, I think exactly two months ago, um, I finished off the Lancome by Facil makeup remover. It was like this big. I um, met my goal of 30 uses on Kat Von D Lolita. I finished off the Kors um, Night Cream. It was like this big. Um, I finished off, I hit my goal on Whisper of Guilt of using it 30 times. I hit my goal of hitting pan on Tarte's Magic. So it's this one right here, this brown one. Um, next, I finished off my Tarte Shape Tape. I finished off YSL's Mon Perry, the like, um, I guess it's a travel the like roller ball of it but it had a spray and then I finished I hit my goal on the Ciate eye luster of using it 30 times I fell in love with this I wear it all the time I should have popped it on today but I really like this color so I didn't <laughs> but I wear it all the time and I think next month I'm gonna be wearing it a ton more again um and potentially finish this off but I don't really want to put it in a project pan because I just like kind of organically reach for it so there's that so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine goals slash empties met um oh and i also finished off max uh frosted fizz i'm so excited <laughs> um so i finished another shadow which is awesome I took it out of this pan when I needed to repress just so I could, um, it would be a little easier for me to use. Um, so yeah, that was just like a cream shadow that I used to set my eye primer with. So I'm really, really excited about that. So now what I have left is I still need to hit pan on Tarte's Myth. But now you can actually see, like, I hope you can see, there's like a dip. I don't know. There's like a dip starting to form. I don't know if you can see there. Um... But I don't know. I feel like I'm halfway. This is so hard pressed in there. I was I was really surprised. I wasn't really expecting that. Uh, but it's okay. I have one more month to try and hit pan on that. And I am wearing it kind of like as a transition shade as often as I can. Um, so that's kind of how I am planning on hitting pan on that one. And then... Oops, I'm dropping stuff. And then my Urban Decay All Nighter, I'm wearing that today. I feel like you can tell that, that that's what I'm wearing because it looks so heavy. Um, but it looks like this. My lines always rub off. I think I was like here last time and I'm about here now. I'll mark it after. Um, I'm really, really trying to use this up. I try and mix it as much as I can for work um it's just so heavy i will put like half a pump to a pump if i mess up um put it everywhere but my nose and then use another foundation and mix it that way and that's how i've primarily been using it so i think i started like all the way down here so i've used about a half which is pretty nice um so we'll see if i can get this one done i'm hopeful but we'll we shall see um like i said um like i mentioned in my previous video i am going to be like mass filming today uh i am going to be working more through the end of the year so hopefully i can go ahead and finish it up that way um next i have my lavender fix plus from mac i didn't want to film until i finished this but i was like just film this is all i have left guys 
I'm very, very excited. I think this was brand new when I put it in the project. So that's pretty cool. So I, I think I can finish this. When I was spraying my sponge earlier, it was kind of like taking a while to, to pump out. Um, but yeah, I have very, very little left. Um, this will definitely be gone. Um, not by the end of the month because it's 25th today. Um, but yeah, it'll be gone. I like to use this as kind of like, um, after I put on my primer, I will spray this, wait for it to dry, and then go in with, um, my foundation just to give it kind of a little boost. And then I'll, of course, use it to foil shadows or like wet my sponge. Um... But I really like it. This scent is my favorite. I bought the lavender and the rose. And I think um, the lavender is my favorite of the two. So that will be gone, which is pretty cool. And then I can back to MAC it. I didn't mark the bottle, so that's awesome. And then lastly, I do have my Benefit Gimme Brow. I, that's all I have in my brows right now. I, I don't feel like doing my brows fully. So I took out the stopper of this because I felt like it wasn't really giving me what I wanted. And it looks gross. But that's pretty much like if I scrape the bottle, that's pretty much all that's left. I think it'll take me pretty much to the finale to finish that because I don't use very much of it. And I always have to scrape. Um, I need to stop taking the stopper out of things. <laughs> it's really what it is. Um, but I just I felt like I wasn't really getting the product onto my brows, if that makes sense. And then the last one actually that I haven't met goal on is this one so this one popped its own stopper so I just took it out it was kind of hard to work with but I think I have maybe a couple applications left because that's really all that's left in the bottle like when I swirl it around oh there's more um but this one has a couple left um I had a goal of 30 I deleted it on accident I think I was like at 10 um 10 uses at the last update and i've used it about maybe five six more times but i don't think i'll reach 30 anyway so i'm just going for finishing it now um because it it just makes sense too it's kind of like exactly like this eyeshadow well not exactly but it's very similar um but i really really like it and i always get compliments at work when i wear it i would definitely repurchase this if it was like half off or something because sometimes the ulta brand products can be kind of expensive but i really really do enjoy it i might try other colors but i really would like to have this in my collection always because it's so beautiful it's the teal pearl metallic um it's a liquid liner metallic um, but yeah, I really, really like that. So I feel like this project has been super successful. Out of the 25 products, I have one, two, five left. So I think that's pretty good. And I have a month left. I'm really, really going to try to meet all my goals on this. Um, I don't think I really decluttered anything from this project that I can think of offhand. Um, but yeah, I feel like this project is going to be super successful. Um, and I love watching everyone's updates. It's been so much fun. Um, but yeah, we have exactly one month left and I'm super excited. Um, I wanted to film today too because this week is Thanksgiving. So I work Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So I'm just going to be exhausted. And I'm not going to want to do anything. <laughs> I work retail, so pray for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you in my next video.